folks, welcome back. So today I'm going to talk about Sciacoin. I'm going to tell you up front, I own Sciacoin. I have over 10,000 coins in Sciacoin. It's not that hard to do, honestly, because the coins are only about two, almost three cents per coin. I've owned Sciacoin now for several months. And one of the reasons why I bought Sciacoin is because Sciacoin actually has a business case. It is a decentralized storage platform. Decentralized, meaning there's no there's no set location that controls how everything is controlled. They, they put it in motion, they put it into the ether, and it's working on its own. So this is how it works. You have people that, that have space on their hard drive, and you have people that want to back up their information. Well, what SciCoin did was they allowed a way for people to have room to store the, store the, the documents, the files, that somebody else who needs the space. Um, they, they found a way to store that information on somebody who has space. And they allow the person who needs the storage to pay the people who have the storage. Now, that might sound kind of scary, um, taking my files and putting them onto somebody else's computer, but that's not exactly how it works. You see, Sciacoin came up with a way where they would take your information. Let's say you have a file, and it's split it up into 200 little pieces, or even 400 little pieces, tons of little pieces. And they would take little pieces, and they'd spread it around to all these different computers, right? And uh, what they would do is they would have a way where you would have a little puzzle piece, and you'd have a little puzzle piece, so you'd have no clue what my, what my document's all about. However, within their algorithm... Uh, when I, as the person who needs the storage, wants my document back, it will go through and it will get the pieces that it needs to piece it back together through their algorithm, and then I have my document again. Now, you might be thinking, well, what if one of the people that is storing my information isn't connected to the Internet? Quite possible, right? They can turn off the computer. Well, Sidecoin took care of that, too. So they kind of made it so that they have like 20 or 30 different ways that you could get your document pieced back together. So if I, have my, if I have my document split up, say, into 100 pieces, there may be 2,000 people, 2,000 people's computers that have pieces of my stuff, and, and it's a bunch of redundancy, honestly. But it's on purpose so that I can keep it safe, keep it secure, but have access to it whenever I need it. The other thing that takes place with this is because SciCoin is one of the cheapest coins out there. I buy it on Bittrex. Uh, and right now, the last price I saw was right about 290 Satoshi, <clears throat> which makes it very cheap, very affordable. Um, with Sciacoin, with the way that they have built their platform, they allow you to, to store your data for about a tenth, a tenth of what it costs to store your data with uh, through Amazon's S3 service. So, as I see it, Sciacoin has provided a way, they've solved a problem, they have a product where I can, if, if I want to earn money, I can open up space on my computer and say, go ahead and download your information onto my hard drive. And Sciacoin's program will take the little bits and put it on there, and they'll store it in that little spot, and it'll just sit there until they need it. And they come, with it, they come to an arrangement with me that I will hold it for so long, and I will get paid so much in Sciacoin. The coin of the company, uh, of the, the, the decentralized app, so to speak, that I will get their coin in compensation. And then I can take that coin if I want to spend it, and I can either get my own storage, which I don't know why I do that if I'm offering storage up, uh, or I can go and return it through Bitrix and get dollars or Bitcoin or Ethereum or any other coin that's out there. So it's a phenomenal opportunity. It's a, it's a great business case in that it is cheaper than everybody else out there as far as storage is concerned. It's decentralized, it's safe, and the development team is actively working on the program. They come out with updates, uh, I believe it's weekly. I know every month they have updates. I've checked out a couple of them. They're actually working right now on video, on, um, on being able to stream videos uh, through that storage capacity. And I have to say, it sounds like, as I've read up on them for months, it sounds like a great team, it's a great product, business case, and, and it sounds like everybody wins. The people that need to store their stuff and the people that have room so they can make money. So I've invested in, in Sciacoin. Now they are in inflationary coin, which means they are expecting to produce more and more coins all the time. Like at a, I believe it's at a 10% inflation rate, which means if I hold 10, 10 Sciacoin today, I'm going to need 
100 side coin, you know, when they do their 10% inflation, I'll need 100 side coin next year to, to equal what I have now in value. Um, oh, 10%, I need to have, if I have 100, if I have 10 now, that means I'll need 11 next year, excuse me. Um, which means I technically am losing some of that money. However, I think it's providing such a great service that I see there's value in that. Now, like I said, it does trade at near the bottom of the of the coins. It's I think it's in the top in the bottom ten as far as cost goes. And so, one of the great things that happens with that it's similar to a penny stock, where if you buy a coin that's super cheap, like one penny, and it goes up to two pennies, you just doubled your money. So I've seen that happen several times. Um, I've received great gains through Saya Coin right now, while it's sitting at about 300 coin, uh, 300 Satoshi per coin. If it goes up one, then that's one third of a return on your money. At least that's the quick math that's in my head. And I may be way off on that, but I know I'm really close. Um, so while I'm holding on to it, it's up to you whether you want to or not. But of all the coins that I've seen, sounds like it's a winner. Thanks, guys. I'm going to have more coins available for you soon, so subscribe and keep paying attention.